obsessive food and creep Things around the half my hand I am weary and despairing Beyond the peeling in the air I'm keep following today's video and it is my Halloween decoration haul. Um, if you've been with me for a minute, I had one last year and it was totally duty. So this year I want to do it right. I love Halloween. It is my holiday and I'm super excited to just show some stuff and get started. I have a couple things from a couple different places so I'm just super excited to get ready and to start off I have my Halloween bag! Don't you love him? I do. I saw him right away and I was like, give me that guy. I think it is so clever to make Halloween cute as well as scary for an audience who wants a scary Halloween or for an audience like me who wants a cute Halloween. Love him. I love pumpkins. I am very attracted to pumpkins in a aesthetic way. I think that they are super cute. We got these pumpkins right here. These are called like tiger pumpkins. They're like a little rare, I guess, or difficult to come by, or they're not difficult to come by, but these were a little more expensive than standard pumpkins. Um, we just got those at the grocery store. I have a couple of them over here, my little babies. And even our big pumpkin was considered one, and he's like, maybe there's, a little information on him. No, Frey Farms. So he's like kind of ugly and weird, but he was considered one of the tiger pumpkins. Like I couldn't carve him, but I think that he's freaky. So he's right there. So the first place I went shopping, the first place I went shopping for Halloween decorations was Five Below. Um, there was some really cool stuff there, some great things to just pick up here and there before I went like to Target. <laughs> so the first thing I got was these ultra LED lights and they are just like spooky ghosts and I believe that these are battery operated because they say 120 hours no plug so these are cool I really want to decorate the Bronco with these I feel like that would be really cool and spooky just to have these like in there because they are battery operated I feel like these are great for like decorating things kind of in a weird realm like decorating back here that would be really easy because there's not a lot of outlets in this entire house decorating my locker and for sure decorating the Bronco. John said no, but like, I have a key. So they're just in here like this. They're small, but they are friendly friends. They're not scary ghosts at all. And these are from Five Below, so I'm just gonna say they were like three bucks. I, I don't remember. So secondly, I got these glow-in-the-dark pumpkin clings. They will just go on your window, your mirror, your Bronco. And these are cool. I am assuming they glow in the dark here. Maybe I can like activate them in this light. Hey. And um, I don't really know. Well, it says glow in the dark. So these were $3. Uh, I really love these. And there's like little spiders in the package too. Um, I keep these up all year. <laughs> so that's that. I thought those were really cute. And then right here I have some creepy cloth. Creepy cloth is key to just decorate a corner or a chair. Like if you just have a chair, throw some creepy cloth on it. Creepy chair or cute chair. I thought this would be cool. Maybe like decorate my filming corner. Just throw this over here or put it wherever. Put it where I feel. Wherever I feel inspired to be creepy. I think like draped in a corner would be cool too. Like. If you've ever seen this like weird wooden object over here, just let me drape it on that thing because I hate that thing. So that was one dollar. So I also have this nail polish collection that just says like nail o ween. And this is from Five Below. I picked this up to go in one of my prizes for the Quicken contest that's coming up. And it says that it includes spooky stickers and then it has like 
these guys on the back. I think that, that would be really cool. I really like this orange. So that's like a cool spooky Halloween. And then I also have this glitter top coat, which I think would be really cool. I do not have a lot of oranges in my collection of nail polishes, but I do have a ton of brown. So I feel like I could really bring the spooky in with this. So the last thing I got at Five Below was this candy corn that is s'mores. And John already opened it, but he said it's really good. Well, he didn't have to say it. He's been eating it all day. So I got these. These do not have gelatin in them if you are so inclined. So I thought that these were cool. Normally candy corn, like vegetarians, vegan can't eat it because of the gelatin. So freak what you feel. These are the s'mores ones. I looked at a couple other ones that don't have gelatin either. So this is by Brock Candy. And I'm starting to think that Brock Candy might be a Pennsylvania thing. No, it says product of Mexico. Okay, okay. So in my boo bag, which I love. The first thing I have in here is this little scroll with my guy on it. I love him. I would have bought so many more things with him on it, but this was all I could really find. Like, look at his little pumpkin. So this just has like a little uh, like twine kind of holder on there. Pretty rustic looking. Mine is like folding at the bottom, so I had to put like, I don't know, a book on it, flatten it out, or maybe that's cute but I figured I could like ha hang this on our door. I don't really know if I'm allowed to decorate the house, but last year I just decorated our room. So that's my guy and he has like a glitter detail to him. And he says boo. This was $7, so that's like, you know, kind of up there, but he's super cute and like durable. I would say this could get wet, like if you wanted to hang it outside. Oh, it says indoor decoration use only, so never mind. It says it right there on there. But there's my boo. And then next we have um, these mummy lights. So, a little bit about me. I think that mummy is probably one of my favorite decorations for Halloween. I was a mummy one year. Let's see if I can find a photo of that. One year I was a mummy, um, and I also have mummy lights from last year from Target that I kept up all year round. And this year I got these mummies. So he's like not as cute as mummy from last year, but I'd really like to keep the feeling alive and just have cute mummy decorations for life. These were $9 last year. I got those mummies a lot cheaper too, but maybe I just came at a wrong, at a bad time. I still, I love mummies. Mummy is my favorite decoration. And I feel like people don't think about mummy for Halloween, but mummy is scary. I love him. So the next thing John picked out and it's these bloody hands. If you follow me on Snapchat and you've ever seen me take like a full mirror picture, you're probably like, what are those? Here they are. I kept them up up until like, I don't know, a month ago. I should have just kept them up. But I noticed that John put these in the cart probably just to be like, remember when you never took these down? So here they are again. Um, these were $3, John. So I have these again. The next thing I have is this fat guy. He is so cute. He is my whole life. I really like him. Here he is down there. Pretty big, right? So he was $3 and there's some instructions. Insert tab into slot, bend rounded tabs gently, pull wings outward. Two instructions for the best thing of my life. Last year I got some like felt wall clings of bats that are still up and I think that he's super cute. I'm really into him. He has like a like party decoration, like pinata kind of feel. But I'm also like very attracted to him and I just want him to be a part of my life. So here he is, little little DIY there. Fun for kids, fun for me alone. So some of you might know that like my grandma sends me a lot of letters in the mail. My mom sends me a lot of letters. It's just like something my grandma really put into our lives. So I try to send, she'll, I know she's gonna send me a Halloween card, so I try to send her cards for every holiday. I got her this Dracula, because I think cute Dracula is so awesome. They had one that was like 
for like to give to your grandparents but it was like two old pumpkins on a porch and I don't want my grandma to think that she's an old pumpkin when she sits on the porch so I got her Dracula and it says someone's thinking about you on Halloween pretty standard I am that's true I just had to have John sign this and I got an orange envelope. The next thing John also picked this out is just like standard Halloween scene cling here with standard pumpkin. There we go. With just like pumpkin, cobweb, and a couple little things. I'm decorating the Bronco. Like, why did he pick all these out? And when I'm like walking up to the house from the street, I can look up to our room and be like, I kept those up another year. The other thing I got was just this little pumpkin tin right here. Pumpkin is also one of my favorite Halloween aesthetics, like a really happy pumpkin. I love a pumpkin. Last year I got a jack-o'-lantern tattoo and I look at it 50 times a day. I'm actually going to make an appointment to get some candy corn, I think. I think every year I want to get a Halloween tattoo. I love Halloween! If you have a candy corn tattoo, can you Snapchat me? Because I really want to see one. So I got him and I asked John the other day to pick me up like pine cones if he runs into any because I figured I could like put some pine cones in here and he would just be like a happy pumpkin. I could keep him up a couple weeks past Halloween if he's filled with pine cones. He's just like down to chill and I figured he would just be cool like some somewhere. But I always get like a little Halloween thing. I have my other one right here. And this is also from Target last year, and this is the pumpkin my tattoo is actually based off of. I like brought this thing with me and was like, him. I just like having little pumpkin like things. So I thought those would be cute if we could definitely get like a pine cone to put in there. Or nothing. I could fill it with straws. So the next thing I got is this like jack-o'-lantern bu bucket. And he is cool. I just have like a pumpkin candle from Bath and Body Works in there, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And I just thought that would be really cool and spooky. Since he's like this metal, I don't really feel weird about having a candle in him. I don't think anything bad can really happen. And he has a handle, which is really cute. I just have him set back here. And I think that's like really cool and spooky, but like nice and bucket-y. So finally I have these like spooky socks and the first one, these are like eyeballs like that and these are by Mishka and they come up really high but I think that they're really cute when you like have a boot and like this is just peeking out a little bit and they're really thick and I really like them. I've washed them already but I think that they're super cute and spooky and maybe good for all year but spooky eyeball socks i like them and then i also have these pumpkin socks and this is my favorite jack-o'-lantern just like happy round super cute i got these after halloween last year probably like after thanksgiving but i thought that they were super cute i really like that they're gray and again, like wearing them with a boot and then like the boot cutting them off and this coming up a little bit, even over tights, I think would be really cute. And I love these. I love pumpkin. So that's everything for my Halloween haul for this year. Thank you so much. Um, comment down below if you were here for last year's Halloween video. And yeah thank you guys so much for watching i was super excited to film this i'm freaking out and until next time and don't forget tomorrow is five fact friday if you have questions about the contest let me know submit them for five fact friday hit me up on snapchat my username is quicken all that information will be in the end credits and yeah happy halloween please let me know if you do decorations i'm sorry my decorations aren't scary i go very cute but yeah, until next time, I love you guys. Bye.